Today, we're gonna use this dukbegi to make sundubu. really like sundubu but it's obviously not easy to just go out and get sundubu. It's one of the things that we really like is that whole experience of getting it served in this dukbegi. So we decided to make it at home. And just to give a quick explanation and details to the ingredients that we're gonna need, this is sundubu and it's not just any tofu that you can get at the grocery store. This is an extra soft, like almost silken tofu. And I'm going to be using this packet to make some stock and this is a mixture of like vegetables and seafood stock. But if you guys can't make your own stock, just water will be fine. So now let's go take a look at the other ingredients we'll need. So let's start off by chopping up some of our veggies. And now that that is all done, I'm going to get my dukbegi. And if you guys don't have this, a regular pot is perfectly fine. Let's start the fire on this. Okay. So to this, we are going to add our sesame oil. Yeah. Our garlic. All the veggies that we chopped up, minus some of the scallions, we'll save that for the top. We'll also add in the meat of your choice and mix this around. So tukbegi is known to be able to retain the heat well, which is why I'm using it for sundubu because sundubu is one of those foods that you are served when it's like piping hot and I really like my stews and my food prepared sizzling hot. So right now we're in the process of making some chili oil and that is the key point to sundubu. You see some of the moisture still in there, so we're gonna wait till all of that moisture is out and until the vegetables are cooked enough and then we'll add in the chili powder. Right now I turned the fire off and I'll let this continue to cook because when we add the chili powder, we don't want it to burn in there and have a very bitter taste to it. I'm going to add this in. So we'll continue to mix this. So now that's all mixed in, I'm going to turn the fire back on and we'll add in our water or our stock. And once it starts to boil a little bit, I'll add in the soy sauce, sugar, and salt. Beginning to boil, so I'll add in the soy sauce, salt, and the sugar. We're just about done. So now that the stew is boiling, we're going to add in our tofu. Some people like this mash, and some people like more of like the whole chunk of it in there. So we're gonna kind of do it in half and half and mash some pieces and keep some pieces as bigger cuts. In and half. Okay, so I'll just kind of break this as it goes in. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing right now, but I promise the taste is. Okay, so some pieces are mashed up and I have this whole piece, but I'll just break that into thirds. Let that boil, and once it begins to really boil, we'll add that egg in.
Yeah.